David asks, hi, I missed the beginning, so may, you may have covered this, but given the importance of high transmittent glazing, would you recommend a roll-up suspended insulation blanket instead of double glazing? David, I'd actually recommend both. This is a fantastic question. Now, there's two ways to go about insulating the glazing on your greenhouse. So a standard polycarbonate, and let me just bring this uh, screen share back up again so that I can show this to you guys. So a standard polycarbonate has about an R value of, depending on the style that you use, but R2, okay? Now all the other walls on the greenhouse themselves have an R value of, like we said, about 20. And so 90% of the energy leaves the glazing surface at night. So if the sun is shining during the day, the greenhouse itself, in spite of how cold it is outside, will actually warm up. It's, it's amazing. I've had minus 20 Celsius outside and we get plus 20 Celsius inside. So that's like minus 10 Fahrenheit, I believe, if my uh, memory is serving me correctly, and 72 Fahrenheit on the inside. Amazing temperature difference. But as soon as the sun goes down at nighttime, uh, the temperature inside of here drops pretty rapidly because so much energy is being lost out of this glazing. Remember, R2 is a tenth of R20, and so this is where the weak link in the greenhouse actually is. So when you're designing a greenhouse, there's two ways to put thermal curtains onto a greenhouse. Number one is to, we'll just draw another greenhouse here. So number one, we've got trusses in the bottom. is you could actually roll the insulation out over the top, okay? So we can insulate that. And even if you use a cheap construction tarp, which has an R value of two, you've taken the glazing surface, which also has an R value of two, and you've doubled it, which basically means because of the way that heat transfer works in this particular type of building, what you've done is you've halved the heat loss Okay, it's amazing how, how quickly that works. So just something as simple as a construction tarp. I don't like putting the insulation on the outside um, because what can happen is if you end up in a situation with freezing rain, which has happened in our climate to a, a person that I'm aware of using passive solar greenhouses, the insulated tarp is not removable, which means that you will not be able to get light into your actual greenhouse and your crops die. They can't live without light. So you're far better off to have an insulated tarp on the inside and then run it along the trusses on the bottom which then keeps the heat in and again doubles the insulative value and therefore halves the heat loss coming out of the greenhouse itself. Hey, you're probably already subscribed, but if you're not, click on the subscribe button below and I will make sure to keep you up to date with the most recent permaculture information and education.